Mein Name ist Gerhard Ziehenberger. My name is Gerhard Ziehenberger. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Sauermacher and have been managing the Thermateam project for a number of years. I'm responsible for all logistical and facility related measures at Sauermacher and its subsidiaries. And this, of course, includes Thermateam. Sauermacher and the Lafarge cement plant in Retzne started their collaboration with a waste oil project some 20 years ago. After that, there was a research project for solid recovered fuels that ran between 2000 and 2002, and which finally led to the company's creation in 2002. The facility was built afterwards. Today, Sauermacher holds a 75% stake in the company and Lafarge holds him 25%. Sauermacher was looking for a way to implement the landfill ban that came into force in 2004. A solution needed to be developed for the efficient treatment of waste. The Farge was looking for an alternative to hard coal in order to remain competitive. The use of solid recovered fuels was not a trend in the cement industry at that time. It was considered technically impossible to use this form of waste in a cement plant. By developing the technology for this application of solid recovered fuels, Thermateam became therefore a global pioneer and innovator. In terms of input material, we use both combustible production waste and commercial and municipal solid waste separated by wind sifters, as well as non-recyclable components which are collected in plastic recycling points and extracted in special sorting facilities. As early as 2000, when we started this research project, we were looking for manufacturers with efficient machines, especially for shredding. Then we heard about Lindner. We were already using a Lindner micromat in this pilot facility, and the Lindner machine won us over with its great performance. When the large-scale facility was designed and put out to tender, Lindner was one of the suppliers prepared to realize the facility as a general contractor. Der bereit war, als Generalunternehmer diese Anlage auszuführen. Und last but not least, and last but not least, the rapid availability of repair and maintenance services proved to be the determining factor in our decision to award the tender to Lindner. The fact that they are based in a neighboring region is, of course, a plus. The input material is unloaded in the delivery hall and inspected visually. It then undergoes primary shredding in the meteor and a separator removes ferrous metals, whereby PET and PVC are separated. This chlorine removal step allows us to achieve a chlorine concentration of less than 0.8%. Next up is the wind sifter, where we separate 2D and 3D material. The material then undergoes fine shredding in the comet, which shreds 3D material to particles smaller than 15 mm and 2D material to particles smaller than 30 mm. The material is temporarily stored in an output warehouse, checked with a disc screen and fed directly via a pipe conveyor to the nearby Retzne cement plant, or loaded onto lorries and transported to other cement plants. My name is Joseph Kulmer and I have been the Thermoteam Managing Director since 2008. We are a small but very proficient team. Most of our members are highly skilled. We carry out maintenance and repair work ourselves. We only hire specialists from Lindner to help us complete our annual inspection. We have replaced the conveyor. The wind sifter and primary shredder have been here since day one. The meteor has clocked over 70,000 operating hours. We currently produce two solid recovered fuel grades, one for the main burner and one for the calciner. The Retzni plant is connected via a pipe conveyor, which is controlled directly from the facility via the PLC. 
Lindner has proved to be an excellent partner, and we are confident that we will process the next million tons with the help of Lindner machines.